This review is of Round Trip by Ann Jonas. And as you can see on the bottom side, it's got it again. Now, this is a, a creative book, and um, it isn't very long, and it's you know a simple reading book. However, Ann Jonas has creatively taken the page and turned it into two images depending on the orientation and sometimes it's a little bit difficult when you have to when you f see the other orientation to stop seeing the or the first orientation but with a little bit of trial and error you can so let me just show you this one so you can see here that it appears that there is a um, river and there is smoke and we see some large buildings that are probably like office buildings and factories. Maybe this one's a house, but I doubt it because it's got way too many um, what appear to be windows in it. Now, if we take it and we turn it, now we see nighttime. And oddly enough, we see smoke going up into the dark sky somehow which, you know, obviously wouldn't be possible. But, you know, this is taking some liberties. And we can still see buildings here. The white part. And we still see the river. Of course, it's a little bit odd because we don't see... When when it's daytime, we, we see <laughs> lit windows. And when it's nighttime, we don't see lit windows. So this particular one is a little bit odd, but... I'm not going to show you the whole book, but the whole book is like that. And so here we see a bunch of trees on the edge of a river uh, across from a house in the daytime. And then at night, we can see the smoke from the house fading off into the distance in the night sky with some tr um, some trees in silhouette with the stars, and there's that river. And this is actually a story, not simply a um, an exercise in, in art. So we started out as soon as it was light. That is the beginning of the story. This is the end of the story. So if we look at this one, we can see lots of well, uh, starry trees during the daytime. With, so I guess that's light shining through the branches of the trees. And we can see this factory. Um, and there's a little bit of more foliage over here and what looks like a river. And if we flip it, now we see the space around the trees being lit up. And it says, home again, with smoke going up from... What should be the home? Now, I'm going to just show you one more. Our neighborhood was quiet. The house is dark. The sun shone on the pond. And as you can see here, lots of, well, I guess we could say that not rivers, but actually the light passing through the gaps between the buildings. And here we can see the sun shone on the pond. So this is clearly a pond, and I guess this is like the rippling. And we see some birds flying in the air. And now, however, if we see the other side of it, we can see what appears to be an awful lot of buildings, many with, well, all of them with uh, smoke coming off of their smokestacks, except for that one. And we can see here, and soon saw our moonlit street. And again, we see some, some kind of trees with stars around them. And we see the moon with some clouds being lit up by it. So it's really very creative. Uh, sometimes it's a bit of a stretch, but I really like it. Uh, so I'm going to say that it's a nice story for kids to learn and also to see a creative way to, to make art, um, kind of like you know, optical illusions, but a very, at a very simple level. So I'll give this an eight. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.